a serious question. What is today according to the Bible? Sabbath. The Sabbath day. That's exactly. Right. Now I gotta ask you and be honest. Did you buy and sell on the day? On the Lord's Sabbath day? Did you buy did you buy anything? You haven't bought anything today? Have you cooked anything today on the Lord's Sabbath? So you're keeping it holy. Okay, all praise to the most high. I gotta go by what you say, right? Now what's your nationality? Because you said you're a woman of God. What's your nationality? I'm sorry. Yeah, what's your race? What's your race? Huh? African American. Can you find that in the Bible? Huh? 
Listen, it, 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 just give me a few minutes of your time, sis. And whatever you got to do is not more important than learning what your nationality is that's according right. to God. That's right. There's nothing you can do that's more important than that. I guarantee it. Give me Isaiah 1 and 3 real quick. Watch this, sis. I'm going to show you what you just did by you saying I'm African American. You're fulfilling Bible prophecy. And I'm going to prove it to you. Watch this. Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 3. The ox knoweth his owner, uh -huh. and the ass his master's crib. Uh -huh. But Israel does not know. Uh -huh. My people does not consider. So God said an ox and an ass know, know who they belong to, and right. who their owner is. Right. But Israel, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, they don't know who they are. Right. So when you look on it, you say African American. Come here real quick, sis. We ain't gonna, we ain't gonna hurt you. We're your brothers. When you look up this sign, you say African American, right? That means you're from the tribe of Judah. Yes, you ever heard of that before? Oh, yeah. Who else come from the tribe of Judah? Bring it up. The Israelites. Yeah, that's true. You're absolutely right. But it's one very special, important person that come from the tribe of Judah. Who do you think that is? Right. Hold the sign up right here. I want you to see this. Bring it up. Read that. Watch this. I'm going to show you something, sis. He now tell me if you ever heard this scripture right here before. Hebrews chapter 7 and verse 14. Read that. For it is evident that our Lord, that our Lord, which is Jesus the Christ, sprang out of Judah. He sprang out of what? Out of Judah. The same tribe you from, that's where Jesus Christ came from. That's right. That's what we are here teaching our people. Have you ever heard that before? You've heard that? So what you got to understand is if our people, are, if, let me ask you something. If our people really knew that Christ came from the same lineage as them, do you think we'd be shooting each other in the streets? You think we'd be killing each other? Right. Yeah. Bring it the out. purpose of us coming out is to try to teach our people who they are according to the Bible. Yes, yes, because sir. everybody thinks that they know, but guess what? Why are we still in the ghettos then? Right. If you got the answer or if they got the answer and they know what's going on, why hasn't anything changed for our people in the yes, last 400 years? Right. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Why hasn't anything changed? I'm asking you. Yeah. But see, those are things that you should think about. Because you see your people in this disarray all over the world. Right. So you got to think, okay, well, why is this happening to us? Why are we the ones that every time, now it's a, it's, a, it's a sport almost for people to call the police on us for doing nothing. How many times have you seen brother fall asleep at, 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 his, at his house outside and they call the police on him? Our enemies call the police. It's at a point now where we're getting persecuted for nothing, right? Let me show you something. Deuteronomy 28 and 15. Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. I'm going to let you go, but I want you to just pay attention. But it shall come to pass. So Moses is talking to the Israelites. He said, this shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments. That's key. To observe and do all God's commandments. Sister, do our people keep God's commandments? Not at all, do they? So he said, if you don't keep God's commandments, let's see what's going to happen to our people and tell me if this is true or not. And his statutes which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses uh -huh. shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So it said that because we don't keep his commandments, if we don't keep his commandments, right. all these curses are come upon our people and overtake our people. Right. Is a curse a good thing or a bad thing? It's not good at all, right? Now, if you look around, where are we at? Are we in the best part of Jacksonville right now? Bring it up. Where are we at? In one of the worst areas in Jacksonville, right? right? So, let me ask you this. Who lives here? And exactly. Mostly African Americans, Hispanics, and the Native Indians. They live in the, in the slums too. That's right. Right? So, when we look around, we see we the ones that's in the city that, that's cursed. Right. right? Watch this. Read. Verse 16. Read. Cursed shall thou be in the city. The Bible say, cursed shall you be in the city. That's, that's why right. I asked you that question. When you look around, in the worst parts of the city, it's us that's there. That's right. right. You understand? Read. And cursed shall thou be in the field. Somebody hold this sign up right here. Right here. Get this sign. It says, cursed shall we be where? In the city. And cursed shall thou be in the field. Now, sis, when was we cursed in the field? I'm asking. When were we cursed in the field? Yeah, when? Um, when Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve. No, no. Look at this. During our slavery times, we was cursed in the field then, wasn't we? That's right. That's when we was out there working uh, sun up to sun down right. for somebody for no pay. Right. Right. Getting our backs beat, getting our, our, our women being raped. Right. 
our kids being st stole away from us. Right. That happened to our people. That's Go right. to Deuteronomy uh, uh, 28, 46. You can Bring put it that down. down. Watch this. You put it down there. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 46. No. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. So that they that that's talking about is the curses. It says the curses, they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. Right. Sis, how do you know what street this is? It's a sign. It lets you know something, right? That's so that's how we know boldly who the Israelites are today. That's right. Due to the curses that's put on our people. Right. Due to the fact we the ones that's in the ghettos. Right. Due, to, due to the fact we the ones at the bottom all the time. Right. That's, right. that's how we know who the Israelites are today. That's it's right. you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Right. That's right. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. So guess what? When people say, oh, that's that's the Old Testament. That's done away with. The Bible's telling you that the curses are going to be on our people throughout our generations. Right. You have any kids? Guess what? And, and Unless we all come to repentance, the curse is going to be on your kids as well. Right. right. You understand that? Unless Christ come back. You got to understand, your child, how, you got, how many kids you got? Five. You got five kids. Four sons and a daughter. This is the most important information that they should know. Right. right. Because guess what? The curse is on them. How, right. how, how many jobs do you have? You, so you're doing all these different jobs, right? Let me show you something. Get Deuteronomy 28, uh, 65. Watch this, sis. Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 65. And among these nations. Now, God said, listen, understand something. Our people were spread across the world. Right. right? We're the ones that's in the ghettos that's having a struggle. You say you got 10 jobs, right? right. So many things you got to do. Watch this. That's right. Verse 65. And among these nations, thou shalt find no ease. So anywhere our people are, God said we won't find no ease. Right. right. Neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest. Neither shall the sole of your foot have rest. Meaning you're going to be working constantly just to make ends meet. We're not talking about working and you got a mansion or you living in a condo downtown. No, no, no. You working to pay a, a, a mortgage on a house that you don't even like. That's right. To pay rent at something that's, that you don't own. Bring it out. That's the curse that's on our people. That's Your right. kids are going to have to go through the same thing unless we start to repent and come back to God. That's right. That's why you, it's imperative that you just pay attention as an Israelite, of course. But the Lord shall give thee there a trembling heart. So instead of that, instead of having rest, God said he's going to give you a trembling heart. Right. You know what that means? That means that at any moment, you're in fear that you might lose your job, That's that right. you might not have enough money to pay your bills, right. that you might be put out on the streets because you can't do what you got to do. Right. Read. And failing of eyes, uh -huh. and sorrow of mind, uh -huh. and thy life shall hang in doubt before thee, and thou shalt fear day and night. Right. And our life hang in doubt before us. Get this curse. Get 68 real quick. Gotcha. I want to get this last one. I, I can tell you, say so you got to go, but it's imperative that you get this information. Get Where them ships at? That, that one. That, no, not that one. That one, yeah. I want you to hold that for me. I want you to pay attention to this, sis. What's your name? Who? Dana. Uh, in, in your lifetime, have you ever seen young men out on the streets teaching the word of God like this? No. Right. So, it's, that's what you got to understand. The, the Bible say that the Most High was going to send his prophets out last. That's right. Before that's, the end times. Right. So, it's not a coincidence that you're seeing us up here preaching with boldness like this. Right. Why, why are all these other older men out here doing the same thing? Bring it right. out. Why? Because we destroyed as a people, sis. Right, that's right. So we come out here to do the work to try to bring you back to repentance. That's right. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Now, don't get simple on me. When the Bible say Egypt right here, it's, it's synonymous for something. Right. Because when we left out of Egypt with Moses, did we ever go back? No. So what is this talking about? Let's see. No. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. Read I go. am the Lord thy God. Which I brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Out of the land of Egypt. Out of the house of bondage. Out of the house of bondage, all right? So Egypt is synonymous with bondage or slavery. Right? Yeah. So watch what he said. And the Lord shall bring thee. Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. Into slavery? Again. Again, how? With ships. Now, Sister Dana, who, who went into slavery on ships? What people went into slavery on cargo slave ships? No, not Egyptians. Your ancestors. Right, this, was right. all, this was only 400 years ago. Right. When did we go into slavery on ships? I mean, who went into slavery on ships? I'm sorry. Us. Look. That's right. They packed us in these ships like sardines. That's right. 
and they carry this all across the globe. Right. That happened to only the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Right. That's how we know who the Israelites are. Like, right. remember we went to the, the curses would be a sign? Well, when you look into your ancestry, you know you can't, your family was on slave ships. Right. right. That's how you know who you are according to this Bible. Read. That's right. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, uh -huh. thou shalt see it no more again. Meaning we wouldn't see our homeland no more. What is our homeland, Sister Dana? What do you think it is? Obviously it's not America. Right now. You don't know. That's a guy. You be honest. That's just, hey. So we're going to teach you today. Watch this. Galatians chapter 4 and verse 26. But Jerusalem. But what? Jerusalem, which is above, is free, which is the mother of us all. So Jerusalem is the motherland. That's where we descend from. That's where we come from. That's the land that we originally own and that we're supposed to go back to. But as a nation of people, Sister Dana, have we ever been back to Jerusalem? Where we been at this, these last 400 years? In America, in South America, and spread all over this world in, in captivity. Right? We ain't been back to Jerusalem. Right. The people in Jerusalem right now are the devil that the Bible speaks of. Yes. They are not the true Jews. Yes. Understand that. Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. So that prophecy came to pass. We've never been to Jerusalem as a nation again. Right. Read. Right. And there. And what any one of the ships take you, sis. Ye shall be sold. You shall be what? Sold uh -huh. unto your enemies. Was we not sold on auction blocks to our enemies? Right. So he looked back for you. That happened, right? 12 years of slave, all these slave movies, they show you every year, it's a new slave movie telling you how you were sold. Yes, right. So the Bible is a true book, letting you know who you are, sis. Right. It's imperative that you look at that flyer and call that number on the back. Because right now, I'm going to tell you something. Let me show you what Christ was saying. Drop that. Give me more, uh, uh, Matthew 4, 17. So I'm going to let you go. I know you got to go. Watch this. Matthew chapter 4 and verse 17. You know? From that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, repent. So it's time to repent, sis. It's time to repent. Change. Start keeping the laws of the Most High. Right. Keep celebrating the Sabbath the correct way. Right. No buying, no selling. Right. You understand that? No working. Start wearing fringes. You ever heard of the law of fringes? You heard of it? Let's get it real quick and then come back to that. Just hold that. Numbers 1538. Bring it up. Because I know you want to go, but you got to hear the law. I got to give it to you. I can't just let you just walk out not knowing what you're doing wrong. Out. Then guess what? I'm going to be judged for that. Right. Watch this. Numbers chapter 15 and verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel. That's you, Sister Dana. You a children. You from the tribe of Judah. Read. And bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. Uh -huh. Throughout their generations. So throughout our generations, we're supposed to have fringes on. You see all these men got fringes on the bottom of their shirt. It's a commandment from God. That's right. That's right. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. You see that? The ribbon of blue. Read. And it shall be unto you for a fringe, uh -huh. that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord. That's the purpose of it. It's over 600 commandments in the Bible. Right. right? So this is a spiritual reminder to stay in the spirit, sis. So if you, you need to have fringes on the bottom of your dresses. Our women, they're not supposed to wear pants. You ever, you ever heard of that? You know that already, right? You already know. So our sister's not supposed to wear pants, so you're doing the right thing by wearing the dress. All you need to do now is to get your fringes on. All right? Go back to Matthew 4, 17. Matthew chapter 4 and verse 17. From that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So understand that, sis, all right? The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org